Kachatrian, 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 Kachatrian. Hi gang. So in this video, I'm going to be doing another music inspired makeup look. Can you see how excited I am? Uh, <laughs> the concept behind the series is that I listen to music and I create an eyeshadow look based on the music that I'm listening to. Um, if it has lyrics, it might be based on the lyrics. Um, if it's purely instrumental, then it would just be the vibes I'm getting from it. Today I've decided to use the piece Common Fantasy. This is a performance by Sergi Kachatrian and his sister Luzin Kachatrian. This particular piece was the piece that uh, Sergei was playing for a specific competition. He won the competition with this uh, his re this rendition. Needless to say, Luzine um, was his accompanying partner for the piece. Um, they they happen to be brother and sister and they work very well together. So they, they have been performing a lot as a duo. Fun fact, I actually managed to see them both perform in Germany in 2016. To be t perfectly honest, I don't listen to classical music all the time. I do like to listen to it sometimes. This is one of the performances that really um, captured my attention back when I was kind of exploring YouTube when I was younger. I did come across another performer, Sarah Chung, and I'll link her performance down below as well if you want to check it out. I think her rendition is also really, really good and, and you know, it also captured my attention. I think the nature of this piece is that it's very dynamic and it's very, it's very exciting and it's very dynamic and hence uh, why I like them so much. Um, that's usually my <laughs> taste when it comes to classical music. I like the very exciting pieces. Enough of my yappity yap yap. Let's get in a little bit into um, Sergei Kachatrian. I hope I pronounced that right. Okay, so he was born in Armenia and then I think he moved when he was very young to Germany. I didn't know that until I was, you know, looking for concerts to attend in Germany. Um, and he won first prize at the 8th International Jean Sibelius competition in Helsinki in 2000, becoming the youngest ever winner in the history of the competition. Cool. He was born in 1985, that would make him 35 years old. He also won another competition first prize at the Queen Elizabeth competition in Brussels. Like I said, him and his sister regularly perform together as a duo. Their family has a very musical background, lots of um, lots of pianists, and I think when he was younger, they tried to get him into violin, kind of to be, um, you know, a little bit of divergence and a little bit more variety in the family of musicians. Fun story about me, I tried to learn the violin when I was very young, possibly when I was, I don't know, six, seven. Um, I was really bad at it. I was horrible, horrible, horrible. Apparently, I just had no um, innate talent for it. You know, I made no progression. According to my mom, I went for lessons week after week after week, and I was still as bad every single week. Also, my mom's a piano teacher, and I did learn piano for a while, but I never really, you know, took to it as much. I liked it. I definitely liked it better than the violin. My arms didn't ache so much. Um, I, I didn't like theory and that was part of the reason why I guess I, I didn't really have my heart in it. A lot of my time was spent uh, trying to get better at Mandarin, which I'm still not good at. <laughs> you see, it's like, it's like everything my parents tried to nurture in me <laughs> never came to be. <laughs> I was okay at the practicals, uh, ac actually playing the piano. Um, I just hated doing theory, learning uh, music theory. Growing up, I really liked singing and I joined the choir when I was really young and I continued on for probably 10 years. My dad's a guitarist. <laughs> I, I, uh, <laughs> 
So my dad's a guitarist, but I don't play the guitar. He tried to teach me when I was much older, maybe like 16, 17. I was like, my fingers hurt. I don't know. I'm So yeah, singing, singing is my thing. Singing is what I enjoy. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the actual song. This piece comes from the opera Carmen, which was um, written by this French composer, Georges Bizet, Bizet. I'll just give you the rundown of the synopsis. So essentially, there's this girl, she gets the attention of this, um, I'm assuming some sort of law enforcement person in that time. Um, they, he's very attracted to her and um, she plays with him a little bit. She's, she, she kind, she's kind of like the femme fatale, the tantress. And um, she, she's kind of framed as the kind of reason for his demise and his descent into kind of criminal activity and, and um, disaster, essentially. Um, but yeah, in, at the end of it, he actually murders her, so... Uh huh. Uh, <laughs> I think this kind of brings to mind kind of the Madonna Hall complex where women are categorized more specifically as either, you know, saintly, virtuous, and the whore complex, which is sexually promiscuous and tempts men, seduces men, and leads them down a path of destruction as if men have no free choice uh, or free will, excuse me. As if men have no free will. Okay, let's just move on into the actual song, uh, the actual piece. Okay, so I'm gonna be listening to the music in my ear. Valentine's Day is coming. Common is a very kind of fiery, passionate kind of song. So I'm definitely gonna be using some pinks and reds. Um, I've decided to take, I've decided to use my Pat McGrath uh, Celestial Divinity palette. In combination with some other palettes, I will just show it to you as I go along. I don't have this planned out. And because of the nature of this, where I want to actually insert the music into my, my video, um, I'm not going to be talking. I will write some descriptions about exactly what I'm doing, but this isn't really a tutorial. It's just for you to experience music with me and watch me create something.
So this is the finished look <laughs> and yeah um, I think I've done quite similar looks before this reminds me of the one that I did with um, mine hair by Liza Minnelli um, from the musical Cabaret as you can see the color scheme on here is very very pinky and red tones um, I added some purple in the middle and then I did add a little bit of a green type of shimmer in the inner corner just to give a bit of contrast so it's not just the pinky tones. Um, and I also did line my eyes, my waterline with a deep green eyeliner. Okay, and these lashes are extremely dramatic. Kachatrian, 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 Kachatrian. I will link Sergi and Luzine Kachatrian's information down below. Their music is available on Spotify and I think they do have dedicated websites. I don't know if they have social media but I will look for that and um, maybe I'll tag them. I don't know if they'll ever see it but it would be cool if they did. <laughs> So yeah, let me know what you think of this look. Um, I guess this is really appropriate for Valentine's Day. So that's it for me and ciao for now.